and after Sora got done all that light reading, we are back to Kingdom Hearts 2, ladies and gentlemen. Today's episode takes us through the spooky Halloween town. And of course the fucking Heartless are back. Goddamn Heartless. Why? Because Heartless. But we sealed this place, Keyhole. But there may be another one. Who knows? What? Oh shit. Oh great, they all pissed themselves. Jack's the mayor? <laughs> no, now this fat is the mayor. Jack is uh, the real power behind it. Is it's, it, ama it's amazing it, how the Heartless don't even like do anything. Wasn't Jack somewhat, if you could call it this, a founder of Halloween Town or something? I mean... Jack is the god of Halloween. <laughs> which makes the mayor pointless. <laughs> White Knights are back, and they combo. No, they're they yellow. don't hurt as much they're, this time around, thank god. hey oh, drive boost! They're, they're Yellow Knights, though, because look at their gauze. Yeah, I think their bandage is oxidized or something. Now in the sun for too long. So, what's, and is the fountain spewing stuff out new? It's acid. Yeah, that, that uh, it's always been spewing out stuff in the original, but now it actually attacks you. Uh oh. That's more if you go right near it, of course. Yeah. I gotta say, Halloween Town looks a lot better than it did. It's in the brighter. First one. It's, yeah. It's brighter. It's not. The red was just way too oppressive for me, honestly. So this feels like more like the, the spirit of Halloween. I can't wait till Halloween. You can be really get a, a better glimpse of the bizarre architecture of Tim Burton. Yeah. Well said. I can't wait till Halloween. Uh, the acid only attacks up. you if you strike it first. That makes sense. Oh, well, I would saying? imagine so. I'd hate to have a freaking acid mask just for the hell, just because it feels like being a dick. <laughs> what were you saying you couldn't wait for all that? Halloween. Oh, just like Halloween in general. This yeah. Halloween's coming soon. Coming soon. Very soon. Well, let's, let's think. We're hey, let me loot the chest. Good luck, guys. <laughs> this is probably beginning in the. Or we're probably getting to this part of the game. <laughs> around the um, the second week to in September, so I think it was, now is a better time than ever. They're saying, "Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, at this point in time, we're getting ready for Halloween Fest 2015." Yay! And uh, we hope you guys look forward to that. My picks will be Medieval Two and Dead Space One. Uh, anything you want to jump in on Elliot and reveal that you what, what you're playing? I am doing FNAF Four, of course. Yeah. And um, until dawn on the PS4. Okay. Ooh, that cool. sounds like a fun. Game. I'm bringing Illbly to the table from the Dreamcast. From the Dreamcast, yeah. Live the dream. And I think that those two those two statues have an actual history to them. They've seen some shit. No, like seriously. Oh, wait, it's, the, a back, it's a background goof. Wait, um, they the, saw the plot synopsis Namor wrote and shit, <laughs> shit their pants. No, they I captured the faces perfectly the, and they put it in the game. There was actually something I just caught. The four jack-o'-lanterns that were on the on the gate during the beginning song of the movie, they yeah. were there. Really? That's cool. They're, cool. they're they're literally behind. Well, there. there are probably more details they can add now. Now they actually watch the movie. You know what I know what's really kind of funny about this game's this world's plot? It actually does the Nightmare Before Christmas thing better than the first one did. The first one was just a romp through Halloween Town. Yeah, that had nothing to do with anything from Halloween Night Before Halloween. Night Before Halloween. Night Before Halloween. Night Before Halloween. Yeah. Yeah, Mischief Night. That was the yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Some people call it Mischief Night. <laughs> what about Lock, Shock, and Barrel? Quite the assholes in that game. Junior we bodyguards. Oh god damn it. <laughs> Goofy! Shut the fuck up! <laughs> well Sora, we can't be dishonest about that. Yes, we can. This boat runs on happy faces, I wanna Note to self, don't take faces. goofy gambling. Yeah. <laughs> You're yeah. a winner! Junior winners. <laughs> no, Goofy wouldn't let you go into the There's a way there's a very Wait, finite way to do that. The, I don't know what it is. So. The right there. Acid buff acid thing, right? That's acid? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it worked. Yeah, it worked. Fuck, the got results. Minor, that's all that really matters. like no damage, so yeah. So, too much. yeah. so you're good. All we kind of seen a nice little redesign too. While I'm at it, it's expanded upon it a little more detail. Yeah. Right. Uh, what was I doing? Actually, um. All oh, right, sword just got drive boost. And what does that do? When you're an MP charge, it allows more restoration if you get hit harder. Unfortunately, I'm a little above, so I'll just stick off reaction boost for the time being. Reaction boost is really a great ability, but I really love to use drives in this game, so... Absolutely. Actually, um, funny thing, you know the um, Scarecrow-looking uh, model that was there with the jack-o'-lantern on his head? Yeah. What about him? In um, Oogie's Revenge, that's that's actually one of the um, power-ups you can get as a different costume. Because like, the, the thing in Oogie's Revenge is that different costumes means different powers. So... He would become Sa he would become Santa Jack. Then like he would throw presents to like stun enemies. Yeah. When he's um, I always found it like, a little weird that Jack's like moniker was the Pumpkin King. Yeah, 
despite him having nothing to do with pumpkins. Well, that's what they did in Oogie's Revenge. They, that's yeah. actually called the Pumpkin King really? um, costume, where it's more based on fire. And sure. it's, it's really effective. We got new game. enemies here? Yes, these are... I forget what their names are. Well, they're, they're driller moles. Basically, all they really do is dig underground, come near Sora, and try to uppercut them like the like a lower attack. I, I actually like the new icon. That's yes, cool. they that's, changed. That's cute. They changed up the icon, so to speak, for this game. So what happens now is if Sora um, transforms into something, he gets a new little icon down there, depending on what he has. Like if it's Valor, it's a boxing glove, I think. That, Master Master Form, admittedly, unoriginally, is a half and half. Really? Yes, like it literally is half mage, half um. Half mage, half boxing glove. <laughs> uh, doesn't the anti form get a little more detailed in this world too? Yes, it does. Well, I hope we don't see it. But... Can we not though? Well, it's not. It's not up to me. It's up to. I world. know, but like we don't need to see it at this time. And that keeps abusing the valor and wisdom forms like crack whores. <laughs> Fuck yeah, you gotta use them like crack whores. Oh, in the this hinterlands. Game. Oops. Now you see the gauge; it'll go up even quicker if I do a lot of damage or take a hit, and I think. AP boost. AP boost, fuck y'all. AP boost the boots. <laughs> Alright, Sora, I, what are we gonna learn now? We I, got I'm, two extra ones, let's put a reaction boost back on. Okay, I'm gonna keep bringing up Oogie's Revenge. The Hinterlands was a bitch to go through in that game. Why is that? Everything's black and white. Everything looks the same. Everything and... is chrome. Chrome. <laughs> <laughs> and like, the, the basic thing on the Hinterlands in that game is that you had to get the holiday doors back back to where they belong. Yeah. The thing is, you could get lost very easily because everything's in black and white. Hey, speaking of which, if you look closely, you find Scorpion and Sub-Zero fighting in the back. <laughs> yeah. But for now, we're going to go through the Christmas door. The only door we can we ever go through. That's the other thing. I can't imagine a Hanukkah world in this game being very interesting. A St. Patrick's world would be fucking terrifying to go through. Everyone's drunk. I see New Year's door, Valentine's door, St. Patrick's door. Fourth of July. Fourth of July. Fourth of July. No, I, th I thought it was New Year's. No, that was Fourth of July. But why is it before Valentine's Day? I don't. It's they, just it's, like a circle on our hub rather than because yeah, Easter's order. after Valentine's. Yeah, and that's right. But why is Fourth of July before Valentine's? This thing doesn't make no fucking sense. I don't want to play this game anymore. Turn it off, Matt. God damn it! <laughs> Fine. <laughs> by the by, you I think no, you can't come in here in this form. They actually strip you of your form before you go into this, which makes me wish I got in here a little quicker so I could save my drive gauges. Are you sure it's not New Year's? <laughs> it's Fourth of July. And you guys are gonna love this bit. <laughs> Sora, Donald, and Goofy found themselves entering a strange new world. Oh, Jesus. And it looks like Sora will be having his wishes fulfilled in the Twilight, Twilight Zone. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I thought we were playing Skin Beetlejuice. <laughs> now, you may have remembered in, the Le in Kingdom Hearts 2 Vanilla, you came in through here exactly as you would have in a gothic sense. Here, you're in Snow Duds. <laughs> That's adorable. Donald is a snowman and Goofy is a reindeer. That that's adorable. He was the uh, the the hidden ninth reindeer. Oh my god, dude! What happened to your hands? There was oh, shit. Doubles popping a double Woody. Okay, Sora, I'm gonna need you to not use fire spells for a while, okay? You're the magician. Not a chance. It's kind of weird though how there's only one like door for, and it's only Halloween Town. We don't see the other holiday doors here because they're not as important. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts 3. You shut your fucking mouth. We'll finally find out if it's July 4th of New Year's. <laughs> <laughs> I think a brand new theme, too. This wasn't in um, Vanilla 2, I believe. I, I think they said that they're not going to revisit any of the older worlds from the first two games they say for KH3. Except for Olympus Coliseum. You have to have Olympus Coliseum. They have to have Olympus Coliseum. And they say, that. they say a lot of things. I'll wait until the game comes out until we actually get a definitive answer. Love this music. Love this theme. I'm going to buy the... Uh, if I can afford it. Yeah, I can afford them. I just don't know if I should. But I'll why? Get the I only, they're really like the same buff you've had before. It's just this time around they're um, AP boof buffing that I really need. I keep saying boof. 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 So he said boof in the Final Fantasy VI. Let's go. Cool. <laughs> now I can... I, I, wait, I already created those. Come on, free development. Yes! Hey. Thundaga Trinklet. Hey, can can Diddy Kong get a boof? Now, the... In Halloween Town, it made sense that everyone transformed into terrifying creatures because for... As far as we're aware, the realm of Halloween Town was just a different dimension where 
spooky, creepy things or their own amalgamations and have their own lifestyles. But Santa's workshop is based off the North Pole, which is still on Earth, isn't it? Yes. Do regular ducks just not exist and Donald has to be transported to a snowman and Goofy has to be a reindeer? Yeah, it's, inc- it's you're supposed to be incognitus. <laughs> <laughs> but those actually look like stiff hand, like wooden hands. It's oh, yeah. like Donald's arms were chopped off on the transition. I give Donald the uh, Mithril Ring and Platinum Ring so he can have more AP for his stuff. I give Jack the older one so he can have a few things, I guess. I, I, I still I still find this this new change in attire adorable, though, because, like, it just fits so much more than it did in the original version. You are absolutely right, Elliot. I love, the, I love, these, I love this transition. I love the fix. In fact, I love this world. Well, yeah. how was Hollow's Christmas Town handled in Vanilla 2? It was treated like an extension of Halloween Town with their music and all. So and they were went, still wearing the Halloween costumes. Yeah. Yes. I mean, Jack doesn't get a change, though. No, no, no. It, it would have been cool if he if he was there in his Sandy Claws outfit. Yeah. That would have been cool. I about to say that. I'm trying to see if I should take anything off for a finishing leap. I, usually what I like to do is take off upper slot for finishing leap, but I'm not going to lose too much stuff over it. What else was I doing? Come on, Matt. Uh, oh, right. I also got some new uh, armor, too. So you checking, are you s- checking your list twice? I'm making sure I'm all your nice, yes. Thunder Magic. That's going to be very... This is what you're going to need against Larzine. So, actually, if, we, if I really could, I'd go for the uh, Thundaga trinket, but uh, you gotta make do. Armand Asante. <laughs> I'm gonna give Goofy we, the power band. Can we find Tim Allen in this world? Oh. Yeah, okay. If we're gonna have a Christmas world, it'll be best with the Santa Claus next time. Hopefully, <laughs> one and two, not three. It'll be, it'll be cool if we got Tim Allen a part of that. No, he, he's, he's gonna be too. He's gonna be too busy doing Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> How, well, actually. Would... Oh, I take that back. Hold on. Uh, this is going to be kind of retarded. I never do this normally, but I'm going to take off the Faraga chain. I'm going to give Goofy the um, Faraga bangle and give myself the power band just for a little extra defense. I'm going to need. I'm not too. I'm not going to lose too much sleep over losing the extra defensive buffs. There's not much uh, different there. I know Matt was just making sure he's prepared, but I feel the need to say this anyway. Welcome to the Let's Play of Kingdom Hearts 2's menu. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> <trying> <laughs> J- John, when we get to, when we get to the Pride Lands, let's just, that's when we had to say be prepared. Yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> that's deserted. They're, probably, they're all hard to work. It's, it's Christmas yeah, time. It's, it's not Christmas time. It's Thanksgiving. Fuck, we're early. <laughs> New battle theme. Love this track. Hate those fuckers in the box, though. <laughs> <laughs> The fuckers in the box have like are actually pretty smart monsters. They'll leave, if they're gonna leave towards you, they're gonna try to dice you up like a like a like a like a pizza. However, they like to leap away and hide in a box. One good trick is to let your friends bait them. See what Jack did? Once Jack gets near them like that, they end up breaking up their AI routine. So it's actually Jeez. good to have your friends go right near them. Today, Jack. Jeez. Absolute wrecked. <laughs> Cole. Is there a heartless stocking stuffer? <laughs> there should be. Absolute oh, wreck. Holy. Oh, jeez. Come on. I'm waiting for Donald and Jack to do something. There we go. Thank you. Right when you get him in the air, that's when they're most vulnerable. And I'm out of magic. Shit. Oh. I'm just going to have to do my 86 hit combo. <laughs> <laughs> I usually like to pick them all from afar, though, if I can. Blammo! Nice. Plus, you can see the drive warps go up a lot more now with under drive recovery. So, I love drive boost. We have to save Christmas! Fuck yeah! We're gonna go save Jesus? <laughs> not, that <laughs> G- not that Christmas. <laughs> I don't want to see a Passion of the Christ in Kingdom Hearts 3. No. <laughs> oh my god. No. <laughs> Who's the final boss? Mel Gibson. <laughs> Let's go I don't know how to respond to that. <laughs> I don't know how to respond to that. <laughs> I'm lost, help me. How Jack Ooh, reacted. Does, does this Kingdom Hearts have a passion of the Christ world? <laughs> oh, God, no. How, how Jack reacted when he saw Christmas Town for the first time. Ooh, this is when they betray <laughs> Caesar. <laughs> what? The fuck? The fuck? There's white shit in the air. The fuck? <laughs> I imagine that will be Jack's song about Silent Hill. <laughs> I actually like how you can hear a bit of the song What's This in the set in this in the track. That's the touch they go for. Showtime. 
This is where Sora collectively jizzes in his pants. Yep. And so is Jack for some reason. <laughs> you fucking cheaters. I better, <laughs> I better be on my nice fucking list, on your nice list. I saved the world. Okay, uh, there's 300 other Soras. What's your last name? <laughs> yeah, what's your last name? Uh, it's... <laughs> Why did it censor it out like that? Uh, the great Nomura said so. <laughs> He's always on the nice list. You know what? I can honestly say Sora saying that just because Riku broke his balls about it. So once again, Riku ruins it for me. I don't know why. I can imagine Sa Sansa saying, like, you're sadist? <laughs> no. Who else is nice? Here's the thing, though. For Santa Claus to give you a gift, you have to actively believe in him. Because he's yeah. not nice enough to just give you a gift anyway. Yeah, seriously. I thought that was the point. It's a altruistic <laughs> jerk-off. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to give you this charity. But do you believe in me? <laughs> you will. Oh. I don't know. Can you, can you imagine Santa having Riku's name on the list? <laughs> Do you know where he is? Uh, Riku or again? There's like oh, the blonde one. It's like the, no, yeah, the blonde <laughs> yeah, one. Yeah, ten, it tends Riku, <laughs> which is funny because she is in this game. Yeah, it's true. true. Yeah. As Chibi. Yeah, as a fairy. Daily yeah, like puzzle piece. We're just looting Santa's house right now. <laughs> Fuck you, I'm on your naughty yeah, list. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you still are. Fuck, he's right. <laughs> Believing Santa my ass! I believe in Santa, you can just come here and this. this. <laughs> Alright, let's do some puzzles real quick. Yay. Your own swords get fucked list. Swords get fucked list. <laughs> That's pretty obvious. No. His arms do not look right. Like, I'm telling you, like... Yeah, because look up the design of his arms. It looks yeah. it, it, it's like Nomura just flipped the graphic and added Yeah, look, I'll tell you exactly what oh he did. Oh my god. He just copied one arm and just added a little inner elbow line here to make up for that fact. <laughs> mm. Fucking cheater. <laughs> that, that lazy ass. Let's get this aside before Johnny breaks his TV and rage. Like I'll get my elbows noses, but that's where goddamn ridiculous. <laughs> and Daylight has more pieces in it. It's not too bad, though, actually. Like, after the first, you know, few fucking pieces. Yeah. Though this one over here always gives me shit. I never fucking get this one right. It's nominated here. body. Yeah. Right. Yep, a lot of pieces still to go. <laughs> okay, so we got one piece out of a whole bunch. We're not even halfway done the game yet. Nope. Not even. We're like, what? Not even a quarter? No, we're past a quarter. Mm. Alright, let's go see what happened in here. Hey, can we eat the door? You probably can. So it's made of gingerbread first off. No, it's made of wood. I just wonder if I can eat it. <laughs> <laughs> I can see you Goofy taking a chomp out of it. I'm, now I want ginger snaps. And we have some, too. We have a whole box. Mark said it tastes like shit. No, it doesn't. It tastes pretty good. Mark's picky about his ginger snaps. Yeah, I know. Like, he always gets the orange box ones, right? The one from, um... I forget the name. Yeah. But, you know, you know. You really think it would be easier to miss the fucking giant <laughs> Maleficent dark fairy. is the fucking Grinch in this world. <laughs> that's, that's what her role's delegated to with this. She is green. Somewhat. <laughs> what better way to find somebody to ruin Christmas, you know? Well, there is Oogie Boogie. And then Maleficent got an idea. <laughs> what the fuck? A fucking bear trap? <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it, is, it, is, it is Oogie's boys, though. Or, well, Oogie's boys and girl. Can we have a counter for that? Because it's always in that order. That's kind of the way you have to say it. It's like you're loading a gun. Yeah, I'm sure you're in some other fan fiction or some alternate universe. Lock, Shock, and Barrow are their Sora, Dominic, and Goofy. <laughs> Is the that your universe. fan fiction? Hey, give it three more games. We'll have keyblades. Fuck yeah. Uh, Mr. Claus, I, wanted to talk to you about I still like how they spell it as Claus. I need to see how things are progressing. The only thing that bugs me about the Santa in this game is he doesn't have any more, his face is totally static. Yeah. Like, you, know, you can't tell if he's angry, sad, naughty, nice. Oh, <laughs> Again. Uh, all right, then. So now we have our mission in it to beat three kids up. <laughs> Jack, you disappointed shit. Oh, we did it one game. We can do another. Let's go. Yeah, for two. yeah I mean, what, what's the matter at this point? Our, the blood's on our hands. Let's not argue that. No, the snow is on our hands. Hey, yo. Son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, that should have been a really good mini game. Just have a snowball fight with Snock, Shock, and Barrel. Oh, that'd be cool. No, but they cheat. They throw freaking bear traps. No, they throw ice balls. They no, they throw anything that's not snowballs. They pee in the snow. They pee in the, Ew. Yeah, the yellow surprise. The urinator. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna have Dance call at the ready because I think there's gonna be another encounter somewhere around here. I think. If not, hey, what do you know? It's the next day, right? Yep, oh, here there we go. Is. This can rack up some hits quick. I love this. 
Hurts like a truck, too. Osora, I love it. Sora, Sora, I made it out of clay. Look, <laughs> you're a fucking dreidel for, for a second of that animation. <laughs> well, then again, it is Sora, so you made and it. And hindsight, you made, you, made it, you made it out of keys. And <laughs> yeah, you know, it's a good point. Like, you know, Santa brings up the fact that you didn't believe in Santa 1.7 years ago. What if he's Jewish, you prick? <laughs> it's like, what if he doesn't believe? Well, yeah, I don't, I don't believe in Santa because of my religious beliefs, you asshole. Maybe he's half Jewish, like Tommy Pickles. If... If you, if, no, Tommy, I think was Jewish all the way. He was only not Jewish for Christmas. No, he was half. He was half Jewish. I know. I'm just saying. Maybe he was like not How a Jewish. Half Jewish. Dee Dee was Jewish. Stu wasn't. 